Thank you to my patrons Adam Lay and Shoddy Graphics for making this video possible. What's going on YouTube, it's Castloscope. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I made this professional sports poster for the Bitcoin Classic. For those of you that don't know, the Bitcoin Classic is a basketball tournament with a payout in Bitcoin. It features many professional athletes, whether that's NBA, G League, or a lot of overseas dudes. So make sure you guys check it out on social media at the Bitcoin Classic. First thing we're gonna start off with is the background. The background, which was a picture of Rucker Park, but as you guys can see, I only took the highlights from the image, okay? So how do you only take highlights from an image? You just go to select color range and then you can choose to only use highlights from an image and then choose your range. So that's how I did that. So the second thing that you see here is a bottom flare and this was just asset that I have that all my patrons have. If you guys are in the Patreon, I have this flare and a bunch of other textures that I always use in a pack that's available to you guys. For the grunge, then you guys see that little like noisy texture. That's just another texture that I have layered on. Now we go to our eight team logos and this was pretty simple, you know, just put the team logos there. If they need a little bit of support, you guys see I added a little bit of a drop shadow. Okay, so all you gotta do to add a drop shadow, you know, it's in effects and then you can just add a drop shadow no matter how far down you want it to be. That's how you add drop shadows. So that was it for the teams. Kept those pretty simple. I have this hoodie man. Now this is like the main aspect or the main element to this. So if you guys see this hoodie man, the hoodie that you guys see is actually from a original photo. Literally just added a, a shape layer or you could even paint and I just blacked out the face. The reason I did that is just for marketing reasons and for when you see an advertisement, you're not really trying to look at the face. You wanna look at the information. He has a lot of adjustments on him and this was original photo without the leaf on it. And what I did for this leaf is use a blending option. So if I take this back, you guys see it's just the regular leaf. Now I'm using blending options on the underlying layer. I'm holding down Alt. I believe this is Command on the Mac to separate this leaf. It might be Option on the Mac, but this is how you separate the leaf and make a feather on a leaf. And then you see how it magically looks like it's part of the actual hoodie. And I use curves to just make this darker, fit the background a little bit more. This was the gradient map, just from black to white. I had a little bit more light coming through, so I made sure that this gap between the gradient map was greater. And then just the orange light. And this was just a hue and saturation layer on colorize. Made sure it was saturated. Trim, painted on with my white brush, black to get rid and just take your time when you're doing the lighting. This was really fun to do this text. I just, I just really like this text style. It's not anything crazy. It's just a layer style. All right, I'll link this layer style for everyone. I have it saved right here. So you guys see that's a layer style, but all I did was change the gradient overlay. So I changed the color of the text to a different color. In this case, it was green because I wanted to represent Cash App, which was a sponsor of the tournament. And I did the same thing for the orange and just used a different gradient map. This is a light add. This is just linear dodge, adding light on the edges. So I just had linear dodge and I took whatever, you just take a sample color and then just make your brush softer and paint it over the edges just to give it that artistic look. CCs, I use three strip, which is default. This is default in Photoshop. Everybody has three strip. Color balance, use a little color balance. You gotta see before and after. Looks more film-like. All right, so this is a color lookup that I have. You guys can download these color lookups for free of no cost. Uh, all you gotta do is look in the description. I'll put those there as well. And this was the number six that I have on there. It was really nice. And I just dropped it down to 37% opacity. Then we have the TBC logo. This is the Bitcoin Classic. This is our Bitcoin Classic logo. And then we have our final group. And you guys see, let me add the paint splatter. There we go. There's the paint splatter from the Danger Pig Strokes brush pack. Let's take a look in the camera raw filter and see what I did here. All right, so for the camera raw filter, went to basic, brought the exposure up a little bit, brought my clarity. Always gotta just boost that clarity, why not? All right, especially on posters, you can boost clarity, boost texture, and then the detail on the sharpening, definitely boost that up, all right? Just make it look really immersive, really almost almost crunchy to a degree, okay? Is that, a, is that a, just a weird term to use when you're making flyers? Just make it look crunchy, man. So then we did a glitch layer and I'll show you guys quickly how you do the glitch layer. So all you gotta do is duplicate your final and you're going to rasterize it. Okay, now you're going to hold control, click on the thumbnail. Then you're gonna go to channels, click on one of these red, green, or blue. I usually click red, just control T. Then you're gonna move it to the left or right, depending on what you wanna do. Then you just bring back the RGB layer 
and you deselect. We go ahead and I add some more textures that I just have. Always have textures handy. This is a lens flare texture. I really like this one. It's also available uh, part of, as part of the patron, as part of being a patron. Add the curves to it to bring down the highlights so that it was just only flares. Then just finishing up here, we added some more saturation, boosting the saturation, desaturating the rucker a little bit, and then bringing one more brightness to the canvas. That's gonna do it for how I made this flyer and video. If you guys are making your sports design flyers, make sure to make them pop, make them have a lot of clarity, texture, boost the saturation if you want, boost the exposure, just have fun with it. Be sure to make it interesting for the viewer. With that being said, I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. And until next time, it's been Calcio Scoped. Stay scoped. Peace.